Notebook 11, but open source that you can run locally. This is one of the most requested asks. Let's see how this new model from Microsoft performs. Welcome to Future Unpacked, the show where we dissect the biggest dramas shaping tech. I'm your host, Maya. Today, we're tackling a story that has taken Silicon Valley by storm, the escalating feud between Elon Musk and Sam Altman. Once collaborators in the founding of OpenAI, the two are now clashing publicly aggressive, large-scale projects under his leadership, but the team, including Altman, was uncomfortable with that direction. So Musk walked away, but he didn't exactly fade into the background, did he? Not at all. He later criticized OpenAI. So as you can see here, it has done a pretty good job. And this is probably one of the very few TTS models that can do long-form expressive TTS. And this is one model. I mean, that's quite fascinating because until now, whenever we needed a notebook LM kind of a solution, we had to stitch multiple models. We needed TTS solution, we needed an LLM, but this is one model that can do both the things. And this is a new model that comes from Microsoft that is called Vibe Voice. It's a 1.5 billion parameter model. I already saw the demo, very brief technical detail. This uses diffusion framework. So this is uh, like the stable diffusion model. This is not a simple auto regressive transformer model like chat GPTs of the world, but this uses diffusion framework. So you can see very simply that you have got diffusion head and uh, it can even do like 90 minute speech. So this is an expressive long form multi speaker. So you can tag speaker one speaker two. So just like in this demo, you can tag speaker one and speaker two, and then you can select the voice of speakers and you can specify how many speakers you have got. And this can generate the TTS, the speech for all of them and not in a monotonous way, not like Amazon poly. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how good poly is right now, but when you use poly five, six years before to generate audiobook, it wasn't good. But now you can use this to generate audiobook. And this is Vibe Voice 1.5 billion parameter model. And I'm going to play a couple of examples where we are going to see what kind of things it can do. So context aware expression, like it's, there is an emotion that it has to re uh, react to it. I can't, I can't believe, believe you did, did it again. again. I waited, I waited for, for two, two hours. hours, two, two hours. hours, not, not a, a single, single call, call, not a text. text. Do you, Do you have any, any idea, idea how embarrassing, embarrassing that was, was just, just sitting, sitting there alone? alone? That's amazing. No? Hey, remember, remember see you again? again? Yeah, yeah, from, from Furious, Furious 7, 7, right? That, that song, song always hits deep. deep. Let, Let me try, try to sing, sing a part of it for you. For it's you. been a long day without you, my friend. I mean, this is something that, you know, OpenAI promised when they launched the ChatGPT voice with all the Scarlett Johnson um like all the legal feud what were the, the marketing they were doing but it never came like i don't think like open ai um I, I mean i can probably use my app and then see if it can actually do it but i don't think open ai even today can sing like at will like when you want something i'm going to just play it it takes time hello can you sing a song for me absolutely i'd be happy to let me just pick a little melody and I'll sing you a few lines. Here we go. Whenever you need a little tune, just ask me to play a song. I'm here to brighten up your day and uh, help so, you sing Sorry, along. sorry, it doesn't sound like a song. Like, I want like a song. Oh, I get you. You want something a bit more song-like and polished. All right, let me give it another shot. Sometimes you just need a little melody, something to lift you up. As you can see, it's complete crap. It's a, it's a, it, it, it just doesn't know that it can't do, like it fools you around. But this model, like as you saw, like it, it did a pretty good job. Like, let me just like play one more time. Yeah, yeah and, then and then this, this part, part always, always makes, makes me think, think of, of the people, people I've lost. lost. We've, We've come, come a long way, way from, from where, where we began. began. Quite amazing. And you saw the background music playing in the podcast. So another example. Welcome, Welcome to Tech, tech forward. forward, the show that unpacks the biggest story. So typical podcast style. Uh, this is quite excellent. I mean, the fact that this model comes, uh, I think the model currently supports two languages, English and uh, Chinese Mandarin. And the model comes with 1.5 billion parameter size. And there are like a bunch of training details. But the most fascinating training detail in this model is this model uses Quinn 2.5, 1 billion, 1.5 billion parameter model as the base model. I mean, for, for a notebook LM structure, you need a large language model that knows a bunch of things. And this uses Quinn 2.5. And I mean, this is a very interesting moment for us to emphasize how much Quinn 2.5 or Quinn 
models from China because of the open source licensing have impacted the open source universe of the large language models and now the TTS space as well. I mean, like we should be grateful to Quen, uh, the Alibaba company, and they have done a pretty good job. There are like a lot of interesting details about this model. You can go read about it if you are uh, interested in the technical details. But in short term, so there is an LLM that has to understand what is going on and do certain things. And you have got certain diffusion component and uh, the context length. In this case, it has been trained with 65,000 tokens. So the demo I gave here is 4,449 characters. So this can roughly translate into like 6,000 tokens. We have 735 words, but even this is not something that a lot of TTS solutions can do it. And this model can do everything. The other good thing about this model is it can do streaming. Um, so while it is generating, after it generated a particular point, it can continue generation. There are a bunch of voices that are available. So there are like a bunch of women voices, bunch of men voices, and then you have some advanced parameters like uh, the CFG, which we have been typically doing with uh, the diffusion models, the higher the CFG, it's going to be more on the prompt uh, adherence, the lesser the CFG, it's going to be lesser on the prompt adherence, but more on the like creative side. So you can play with these parameters, but ultimately it's so delightful to see that you have got an MIT license model. So the model that you can use uh, for any commercial purpose that is available for you to use on any computer that you want. You don't have to rely on only notebook LM. I mean, if you have been waiting for this kind of a model that you want to build on top of, uh, let's say like a notebook LM solution kind of a thing, then this is the model that you want to use. Go test out the model with the, I'll link the demo in the YouTube description. But if there is anything that you want me to test out from this model, let me know in the comment section. But I'm also going to try to put together a tutorial how you can run it on free computer resources or even like a rented compute. See you in another video. Happy prompting.